So the Hyperfocus Hyperion SMG, I feel after using it and testing it for a video, people don't actually realise how good and powerful of a weapon this can be. Is it now stepping on the toes of the redistributor? Today I give you my thoughts. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So the Hyperion Hyperfocus SMG is a drop from the Power Troopers upon Atlas HQ on Promethea. It drops offering all elemental types and can also drop offering none. For those who don't know where the Power Troopers are located, stay tuned until the end for the route and location. So straight up people, let's compare this to the equivalent redistributor. On paper we can see it deals way more damage, almost doubling up over this redistributor and it's like this no matter what redist you compare it to. Other stats on paper can vary but both have their ups and downs. The redistributor though does have that amped shot which is just utterly brutal for groups of enemies. The hyperfocus can't touch it in that manner. So to the point. Is this as good as the redistributor? Well, when you balance up the benefits of each and going into what this game offers, for the most part, I'd say no. This isn't as good as the redistributor as an all-round weapon. But that being said, that doesn't mean this is a bad weapon at all. It isn't in the slightest. And in fact, one area where it does smoke the redistributor is in single target damage. It just absolutely melts. And you'll see this in how quick it can kill Grave Ward. And this is just one demonstration. Now this thing's party trick is as follows. Hitting an enemy spawns two additional projectiles perpendicular to the target. These shots can ricochet also off the environment. So basically hitting a target with this weapon will create a T-shape shooting left and right of that target. As you can see on screen now with the test on me. Now this can help a little bit if enemies are grouped up and like I said these shots also do ricochet too. So if enemies are grouped up there's a good chance they might hit them. Just don't like, I did expect more from these additional shots, I expected way more and although you can usually see a slight difference, it isn't as prolific as you'd like. Even in places like the slaughter shaft where enemies are all over the place, these perpendicular projectiles wasn't really doing as much as I'd like them to or actually expected them to. But in saying that, it doesn't really matter because at the moment this is one of the hardest activities in the game on Mayhem 4 and this hyper focus as you can see, just eats through everything. Now the reason in me testing this weapon, as we all know it's quite old, is because it received a recent buff which I feel many people forgot about. On March 12th, this weapon's standard damage stat value went from a 0 0.8 to a 1.4, so that's quite the increase people. Now before this hotfix buff, I don't really recall using this weapon as much, so in reality can't state the actual difference in feel. But what I do know is, it's a very decent and capable weapon now. And my advice to you is, try it out for yourselves. As great and as powerful as it was for me, there are many weapons like this within this game. I mean this might be the weapon you need for your build, that all depends on the build. But it also at the same time, that all depends on the build. But also at the same time, it probably won't be beneficial to your build. But for me it hits the right spots for sure, damage and fuel wise anyway. But there are better all round options out there like the redistributor. If that's a weapon you're struggling to get due to the Maliwan raid and Walton being stingy and not dropping it for you. If you just struggle with the raid and can't get through it, I mean although this isn't as good as the redistributor, I won't tick all the boxes the redistributor does, it's still a good alternative. And on screen now you can see the route to the power troopers for those who want to try this out. It is quite a common drop, I was getting it probably once every two runs, but actually getting the roll I wanted with my sentinel anointment, it took me about two hours. Now within this route you will see me run to a particular save point, then run back to where the actual power troopers spawn in. So if you don't get the drop the first time, quit out, load back in, and you'll know your way there. But on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new and you want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and hopefully I will see you on that next one.